Coming up on this week's news, toll rates are set to rise in many locations as the summer driving season kicks off. Colorado's express toll transponder will get you around more than Denver these days. And an ongoing text scam continues trying to collect fake tolls state by state. Greetings to all of you and welcome to our weekly update of all that's coming down the pike. Summer driving season has arrived and with it, the typical summer toll increases that accompany the season. Annual toll increases are expected July 1st in California, Kentucky, and Indiana, although Indiana rarely announces the increases ahead of time. Drivers in Kentucky can expect those new rates to be announced any day, as is typical on the Riverlink website. The roads impacted in Kentucky are, of course, the Ohio River bridges, which include the Lewis and Clark Bridge on the Outer Loop, and the I-65 bridges connecting downtown Louisville with southern Indiana. Those are the Abraham Lincoln and the John F. Kennedy Memorial bridges. The Indiana toll increase will impact drivers across the Indiana Toll Road, which connects to the Ohio Turnpike in the east and to Illinois Chicago Skyway on the west end. Tolls are also going up July 1st on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. In case you missed it, drivers in Washington, D.C.'s metro area may not be facing a toll hike on the Dulles Greenway, which connects to the Dulles Toll Road. A state corporation commission hearing officer for the Commonwealth of Virginia has recommended there be no toll increase on the Dulles Greenway, at least not as proposed by the Toll Road Investors Partnership 2, which operates the roadway. Hearing examiner Michael Thomas issued a 159-page report in which he stated raising the tolls as proposed would, in his words, materially discourage use of the Greenway. Under the proposed toll hike, the current rush hour toll for commuters, that's those driving a passenger car, pickup, or SUV, would skyrocket from the current $5.80 to over $8.00. Tolls could disappear entirely on the South Bay Expressway just outside of San Diego. May 31st was the day the San Diego Association of Governments voted to authorize a study on the effects of removing tolls from State Road 125. That study is expected to take about a year and comes following revelations of mismanagement and budget issues. One place where tolls will remain the same this summer is in Denver, although driving will change just a tad for those who have the express toll. The reason being, Colorado's toll transponder is now compatible outside the Centennial State. The E-470 Public Highway Authority announced the express toll transponder can now be used in Kansas, Oklahoma, and on Texas roads, and vice versa for drivers visiting Colorado from those states. The express toll's interstate interoperability became a reality with the first day of June, and that's about two years after the Colorado agency elected to join the central U.S. interoperability hub. Meanwhile, if you have gotten a text telling you you owe money for a toll invoice, you are not alone and you will certainly relate to our next story. The state of Nebraska's drivers are the latest recipients of a months long smishing scam in which people are getting texts on their smartphones warning they have a toll violation to pay. The texts include a link to pay the alleged violation. The FBI maintains a warning it posted earlier this spring about the smishing scheme and officials in states across the U.S have been issuing individual warnings about the smishing texts since at least March. To be clear, toll agencies do not send texts to drivers to pay tolls. If you get a text, you can file a complaint with the Internet Crime Complaint Center at www.ic3.gov. Coming up next week with hurricane season underway and forecasters predicting a busier than average hurricane season, we take a look at the toll roads likely to be impacted by evacuations, including Florida's Turnpike, which became a log jam during the Hurricane Irma evacuation. Until then, please drive safely and keep situational awareness front of mind. I'm Danny Pryor for Turnpikes.com, the Turnpike Authority.